There is a rarity above legendary, something you can actually also see in the gear menu when hovering over the gear loadout text. But these exotic items are pretty rare so far, with only a few people sharing that they found them. You likely already know about the major artifact exotics that you get from the campaign, I already showcased them in a previous video as well, but by actually doing these special objectives in the post game, you can get even crazier major artifacts, including one that can let you summon multiple Hulkbusters at the same time with Iron Man or just spam other heroics, like it's really insane. So I want to go over some of the best items in the game and also how you can get them. A like on the video would really help the channel out and let's go. I'm doing a 2000 credit pack giveaway as you might know, so you can get stuff from the marketplace without spending real money. Just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. I will reach out to the winner via the email. Let's start with the amazing exotic that Nitrofish sent to me on Twitter at Jiraptor. Totally, if you found something awesome, you can reach out to me there. So he's playing Black Widow and got an amazing item for her called the Red Room Uniform Exotic that has the stealth recovery perk increasing willpower regeneration when invisibility is active so when using your Veil of Shadows heroic meaning that you can get a ton of health back while this is active pretty nice it also has the suppression resilience I think that increases your defense but if you got other ideas let me know in the comments down below and your evades cover 30% more distance so it's easier to dodge out of the way of specific enemy attacks. I really like the sound of this. And by the way, the Widow footage you saw was not with the item equipped, but it still gives you an idea. People also found some Thor exotics like Darkseid Rage on Reddit. He got a belt that increases all damage while overcharged, so when the bar under your health bar is full, something that can also trigger Odin Force when you got the right skill active. So then you immediately do shock damage and your shock damage is also increased with this piece of gear. And you also got an increase to that overcharge bar with all the attacks. So a pretty nice combination. Polak found a chest for Thor that increases the rate of heroic energy regeneration while overcharged. Also willpower regeneration while overcharged. And also once again that your attacks get you faster in that overcharged state. And then all those extra effects trigger. It's pretty insane. Overall what is good to know about these exotic is that they seem to have perk combinations that we cannot find on any legendary and that they also seem to be hand-picked which makes it different from the other drops. They all seem to drop on power 130 and can then be upgraded to power 140 and then with a major artifact you can get yourself to power 150 and that's the highest cap of the game right now. I already showed you again two major artifacts in a previous video that you get from the campaign but there are, at least for as far as we know, two more that you can earn in the post game from different objectives. One is called Ring of Nibuling that is pretty nice, it's all about the orbs that you find laying around. The first perk increases the amount you get from these orbs that can heal you for example or charge your heroic. Upgrading it once gives you a perk that adds an 11% chance that defeating enemies will produce a random orb of any type. Pretty nice when fighting multiple smaller enemies. And the final perk is the active ability that pulls out this huge ring when you activate it with both analog sticks. Like it looks pretty crazy and then you get random regen heroic or intrinsic orbs. But because it's random it's not really nice. Meaning that when you might need heroic orbs to charge your heroics you will get health or intrinsic orbs instead. And that in combination with the 5 minute cooldown makes it pretty bad for an exotic artifact in my opinion. You can by the way reset that 5 minute timer by going down and being revived so then you can immediately do the artifact ability again and this works for other exotic artifacts as well but still the passive bonuses are where this ring shines the most. So you get this item from completing all the iconic hero missions but good to note is that it's part of the iconic Avengers mission chain that should show up in the objectives menu after getting to step 7 of the reigning supreme mission chain. For this one you namely need to complete the iconic Avengers chain to continue and for that chain you need to complete all the iconic chains for each hero. So that also means that for Kamala for example you need to complete the campaign if 
you haven't done that yet. You already see the ring as a reward from this mission chain. So it's really as easy as that. Just complete all the iconic chains for each hero to get that item. And then you can continue with the reigning supreme mission chain. And the final step of that one is completing a 14th floor elite heroic hive. A solo activity that you cannot do with other players. And this is where people are actually finding the exotics in the game right now. So you also have to be lucky. Because as you see here, Dennis did it with 5 stars for every objective. But still got a legendary. So it seems like we have to rerun this. And then fingers crossed at the end that you get an exotic. But when you do this for the first time as part of the reigning supreme mission chain. Then you always get the Darkhold artifact. That could be the best exotic major artifact that we know about so far. Because this one has an ability with 3 different effects. Depending on your willpower and heroic charges. So right from the start when you have it at plus one power you have one effect that after activating the ability you drain all heroic energy and restore all health. So it's pretty nice when in sticky situations. Good to note is that when you do the ability below the 50% health with this artifact you will always use the heal and then just drain the heroic charge that you have at that moment. Then when upgrading it for Polycaron that you get from the daily faction missions for example you get it to plus 2 power. And you also have this new effect for the ability that when over the 50% willpower, so health, will drain willpower to critical levels and charge all heroics. So then you can immediately do all your heroics again. And that is pretty insane. And that also means that you can, for example, summon a second Hulkbuster or even a third Hulkbuster. Maybe you already saw that in action in the full Hulkbuster party video. But what basically the deal is, is that you have to do all your heroics including the Hulkbuster and put that on the ground. Then a party member will jump inside and now that heroic is of course on cooldown. But if you are above the 50% health, you can use the artifact ability and then immediately charge those heroics again and put down another Hulkbuster. And as I already said, the thing with these major artifacts is that when you go down, the cooldown will reset. So when you get revived, you can do the ability again and then drop down another Hulkbuster or get in one yourself. Self, and then you have this pretty crazy combination going on but it's really nice for every character like with Thor you can go all in do all your heroics buy frost to already start the fight with a huge advantage follow that up with your assault heroic that also lifts enemies up in the air and then you can also do the warrior's fury support heroic that makes you untouchable for 10 seconds something you can actually increase with gear like we see on this legendary belt that adds 3 seconds to it and we also got the warrior's protection skill that adds 2 seconds on top of that. If we then go back to the gameplay it's nice to use the Darkhold artifact right after the warrior's fury is over so then you and your teammates can immediately get into this untouchable state again and then after that you can use both your heroics thanks to the effect of the artifact. Again this combination is insane and I can totally think of other combinations with other heroes that I might showcase in a future video. But there is another effect with this artifact that triggers when you have all your health and one or more ability of cooldown. Then you namely do this damage explosion that deals some okay damage. But it is an exchange for draining all the heroic charges at the moment. So if you keep that in mind it's actually quite bad. So hopefully they increase the explosion damage. Because right now the best option for this artifact is either the heal, but mostly fully charging all your heroics again. It took us some time to figure this out, but how it basically works is that you always get the heal when you do the effect below the 50% willpower, so health. And you can also get the heal when you are not at full health, but have one or more ability of cooldown. You get the heroic charge when you have above the 50% health and all your abilities are on cooldown. And you get the damage explosion when you have full willpower and one or more abilities of cooldown. Hopefully you followed that, otherwise if you have questions leave them in the comments down below and maybe it's nice to dedicate like a full video on all the possibilities with this artifact. For now we wanted to showcase it and some cool things that we actually discovered. If you found some cool things, totally reach out to the input at giraptor.com email address or in the comments of this video. And 
totally subscribe to the channel for way more Marvel's Avengers content. We already got a ton of videos up on the channel as well. A like would really help the channel out. And totally watch one of the previous videos on how to get all your heroes to the max level as soon as possible. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.